Hello everyone, heading back to the Depths of Chaos, this time to do a Crystal Category Clear of the Aquatic and Demon Fights. So we'll do the Aquatic first. I'm gonna leave the Friend Slot open again. And this is the team I put together. So up first we have Princess Sarah. Essentially she's a supporter that has uh, Aquatic Killer for us. So ailment Resist, some Bomb at Synergies. Survivability stuff, uh, lower mana cost, three stars, and the hat and everything. Up next is Rick. So he is here to br essentially be the breaker and a decent amount of damage. Uh, geared the same way in both forms. So we have 300 aquatic, 300 demon, 300 limit damage in both forms. He also does have the light boost card. Up next, Charlotte Esper of Destruction to be our tank. So, attack and spirit for her. Chest piece for her immunity to death, charm, and stop, and everything. Preemptive LD materia just to help out. So, we got 275 aquatic, 150 demon, 300 limit damage for her. Her main job is tank, not so much damage, but. She's going to try. Uh, Fina, Esper of Destruction, is the leader for the big leader skill. Mine's only EX1. We got her set for limit damage. So we have 100 on her aquatic. 300 demon, 300 limit damage. And then we have Fina the Return to be another supporter. So she'll put up a field and everything for us, give us some good buffs. Uh, the Bulwark, just so that we can do the Stop and Charm Resist. Some more Bomb and Synergies to make sure that we can summon. The Absolute Mirror card so that she can chain with the other Fina. And we give her some attack on top of that. Earring for Resist. So she's got 300 Aquatic and Demon. She's not going to do much damage herself, most likely. Alright, so let's jump into the first one. Alright, Fiend of the Return is going to summon Vomit to put up the field. Sarah. So we're going to do Light Breath, give the big barrier and everything. We'll do Sunbeam for LB fill rate, and double Innocent Prayer. Charlotte's going to limit, give us some mitigation. Fina. We're going to Light and View the party. We'll do Sparkling Charge to give some starter buffs. She'll fill her limit because EX1 and Rippling for break uh, resist. Rick is going to shift. Could have probably started them in the shift. It's fine. So for him, we're going to Luminous. And then Bolting and Mira for some uh, starter breaks. Let them go. We're not going to really chain, but it's fine. Alright, Fino the Return is going to do our Stark Resist from the Materia now. Uh, Sarah, we're actually going to have her do Holy Song for Charlotte, Magic Cover, Provoke, 
and Halo Glory for uh, type mitigation. Only 25%, but it's something. Fina is going to limit, and then for Rict, we're going to do Radiant and Double Mirror. Fiend of the Return. Elemental Power Light herself. And that's all she's going to cast. For Charlotte. Protect. Rousing Command. And I'll protect this world. Rikt is going to do the card boost on Esper of Destruction. And then Esper of Destruction, we're just going to quad on her Chaos Wave Awaken, just because it's a slightly hotter modifier. I mean, we're not really going to be doing damage, but it's, it's a little bit. Return Fina does super for the uh, good buffs. Sarah. I'm gonna Aquatic Return and Charlotte. Charlotte is just gonna triple bolting. Fina. Triple bolting and then lend us strength to get her uh, store magic and everything. And for Rikt, in the shift, 150, and just double bolting. Alright, turn 5. Sarah. We're gonna Aquatic Killer Esper of Destruction and Rikt. Rikt does Shifted Limit, Charlotte does Super, Destruction does Super, and Fiend of the Return does the card. Alright, let's see if we can kill this. Slight chain break in there. Still got it. Check damage. So Rikt. I mean EX3 Rikt versus EX1 Fina. But that gives us our Blessing of the Crystals clear for the aquatic fight. And now we can take a look at the demon fight. So for this... We should get the five turns and the crystals. Obviously, getting gathering category is going to have to be another one. Leaving friend slot empty. And exact same team, no changes. Fiend of the Return, we do the Charm Resist from the Materia. Sarah, we're going to have her do Libra, just to get this added to the book. 
Esper of Destruction. Blatant View of the Party. Sparkling Charge. Fill Limit. And then Ripple. Rict is going to shift. It's a Luminous to Latent View himself. And then Bolting and Mirror. And Charlotte, Esper of Destruction, does Limit for some Mitigation. Also do slightly better attack and magic break for now. Alright, Princess Sarah. We're going to do Stone Resist from the Esper. Fiend of the Return. We're going to do Delightful Glow. This is just for the uh, Demon Killer. For Charlotte. Magic Cover. Provoke. And Hail of Glory. Fina does Limits and Rict. Does Radiant and Double Mirror. Let them chant. Right, Queen of the Return does Super for the good buffs. Charlotte. We're going to protect. Rousing command. And I'll protect this world. Rict. We're going to do the light boost from the card on Esper of Destruction. And then for Sarah, we'll quad and banish gun. That'll let us just chain with the uh, Esper of Destruction and her quad Chaos Wave Awakens. Get a little damage in. Fina the return is going to summon Bombet to put up the field now. Seeing the boss refresh this field last turn. Alright, Sarah. We're going to do Charm Resist from the Esper. Charlotte is just going to triple bolting. Fina. Triple bolting and end with lend, a, lend us your strength. Rick goes to the base. So we're going to have him do his self killer 150 and bolt it. Alright, turn 5. Charlotte does super. Destruction does super. Return does card move. Rift is going to shift for shifted limits. And then Sarah. We're going to quad on bolting. Alright, let's get him chained up. There we go.
Alright, let's see damage. But, yeah, Rick, doing pretty good. Fina, Fina really needs some EX levels. But that gets us everything but gathering category. So we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.